there would be no more big questions, no more answers. Never again a love or a child. No descendants to remember us and be proud. No more voyages to the stars. No more songs from the earth. I saw East Africa and thought a few million years ago, we humans took our first steps there. Our brains grew and changed. The old parts began to be guided by the new parts. And this made us human with compassion and foresight and reason. But instead, we listened to that reptilian voice within us, counseling fear, territoriality, aggression. We accepted the products of science. We rejected its methods. Maybe the reptiles will evolve intelligence once more. Perhaps one day, there will be civilizations again on Earth. There will be life. There will be intelligence. But there will be no more humans. Not here, not on a billion worlds. explain all this to a dispassionate extraterrestrial observer? What account would we give of our stewardship of the planet Earth? We know who speaks for the nations, but who speaks for the human species? Who speaks for Earth? From an extraterrestrial perspective, our global civilization is clearly on the edge of failure in the most important task it faces, preserving the lives and well-being of its citizens. The old appeals to racial, sexual, and religious chauvinism and to rabid nationalist fervor are beginning not to work. A new consciousness is developing which sees the Earth as a single organism and recognizes that an organism at war with itself is doomed. We are one planet.